Today in the Greediest Man Alive, we play against a Terran player multiple times as he shows us how he believes it's best to deal with a greedy build that he doesn't quite understand. Afterwards, in our search for a non-Protoss opponent, we end up with a Protoss. I hope you enjoy today's episode of The Greediest Man Alive. Alrighty, we're starting off against a Terran player here. Not just any Terran player. This is the famous Lulu exclamation mark I exclamation mark I Lulu exclamation mark I Lulu. A barcode. Um, <laughs> we're obviously going to start with a uh, cheeky little no scout as information is for losers. Well, information is not for losers. I actually quite like information. What I don't like is paying for my information. All information should be free. I'm a huge supporter of Wikipedia. We need a Wikipedia as well in, uh, well, technically someone is paying for Wikipedia. Um, but it hasn't been me for these past few years. Um, whenever the pop-up pops up, I, I do have to admit that I've been uh, clicking it away majority of the time, actually. And I now realize that that actually sounds pretty mean. Maybe after this game, I'll, I'll quickly donate to, to Wikipedia. See if we can keep them stay alive. That's what I'll do. Look at that. We're only 2 minutes and 38 seconds in, and I've already lost $50 for no real reason. Now... Um, we're going to quickly... This is not the greediest man alive. This is <laughs> this is the man giving away his money at a very high speed alive. Um, what am I going to do here? I want to get a, a, a third base before, <laughs> before a second gateway. And more importantly, also before anything else. Am I lagging? What is this crap? Oh, start, my, start my blink. I can do that at least. Why am I lagging? Wait, what is this? What are you doing? I'm trying to... <laughs> Why are Terrans so bad at this? It is so sad to watch from a distance. Like, every Terran tries this the same little trick. They're like, oh, wouldn't it be freaking cool if I could uh, jump over this and actually get some scouting information? And then they try it and they freaking fail. This happens legitimately every single time. I, I'm watching a Terran try to do this again. So it just doesn't end up working out. I'm like, well, that was, that was kind of pathetic, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> he's going to lose his... Uh, ooh, can you jump down here? Yeah, yeah over here. Uh, too bad. I, I, I can't uh, support that type of move then. I'm not going to support that type of move. Um, we're going to follow this up with maybe a quick forge. It does sound like something fit. How did he get in? That's something that the greediest man alive would do now. Cheeky little forge. Maybe greediest man alive actually would get two forges. That, that sounds more greedy to me. Uh, oh, what in the world is this? Uh, no, this is him losing a reaper, that's for sure. And we're just going to send it over here. This feels kind of okay, honestly. Not entirely uh, against this. Uh, it's gonna get one more stalker as well. We have the double forges as a follow up, and I, I feel good about life. I haven't scouted, so I don't know if he's one base all inning me or not. I really hope he isn't one base all inning me. I think that would kind of suck. Um, it does look like there is some dedicated pressure heading my way right now. But at the same time, you know, I. What is this crap? What was this? Here, eat my sentry. I don't care about it. <laughs> you can't have as many sentries. What? Wait, where did that guy come from? Is he just retargeting the entire time? Oh no, it already shot. I'm like, I, for some reason I thought I had detection I could see it. Oh, I'm an actual idiot. Wait, how, how did that guy burrow? Was that the third one that popped out? I mean, I still believe I'm insanely far ahead right now. I have a good amount of stalkers. I have a good amount of everything, honestly. I have a very fast base as well. Defended this push without any issues. This is very funny. Like Terrence, they see something greedy. And rather than formulating a proper response, they go, oh, why don't I attack across the map with all the units I wanted to build? Right? Like, no. If you see something greedy, think of an actual response, you lazy pricks. <laughs> rather than just going, oh, I have these units, I have these units. Let me put all of them together. And surely my opponent will not be capable of building any gate units. This is pure um, misunderstanding of how Protoss build orders work. Like, they... they I, I often feel this with Terran players, that they have the least understanding of the other races. So whenever they're confronted with something that they don't understand, they go for a very kind of lizard brain-like response, you know, kind of fight or flight. Either they're going to turtle up like some clown, or they're just going to push across the map with everything they have without really thinking whether that is likely to be the correct call. Well, here, I mean, it, I think it was fairly likely to not be the correct call, to go for a straight-up attack with mines in a medevac trying to drop it on top of your opponent's army. I can't actually remember the last time that was a good response to 
honestly anything. And it's the that's the lizard brain that we know so much about. Now, I'm just going to take a forward base over here as well. I mean, uh, being up in upgrades, being up in eco is not enough. Getting insane infrastructure. This is just simply not going to cut it. We're going to need more, um, mainly more money. Because money is the most important thing in the world, after all. Yes, it, I think he's got a two base all in me, actually. This is the, the next follow-up. He's like, oh, the first push didn't work. Oh, you see that? Banshees! But I have one of these. This is this is actually... Well, this seems freaking terrible. Honest to God. This is, I think, one of the worst responses I've seen in my entire life. Um, I do hope that I'm going to get a, a observer out. Oh, my God. Come on, Kevin. What are you doing? Uh, well, we're just going to pretend like we don't have anything to deal with it. And I'm gonna blink under. Yeah, I'm just gonna run away. See if we can get this. How did he know that I had a, a robo, though? That's what I wanna know. Do I wanna know if this feeling flows both ways? Sad to see you go. Sorta of hoping that you'd stay. Did he pull the worker? Did he pull the voice? Didn't quite see that. I am massively supply lock. Luckily, my Nexus is about to stop that. Freaking love next side. Ooh, he's definitely uh, coming in hot here. Yeah, I'm starting to believe that the 4 CC versus the 2 base all in might have not actually been the play. But I could be wrong about that, of course. Like I said, I've been wrong in the past. Oh, I hope I get these upgrades done. It would be fairly high tier for me. I mean, the, the more time I wait, the better it's going to be. I really need this plus 2 attack, actually. Oh, here we go. Forgot his tanks there for a second. Didn't I have something with this push that provide a, sh should provide me a lot of damage on push? Like, right, the tanks, the tanks. That's not going to get my plus two upgrade before I take him out. You should take off all the reinforcements as well. I can actually afford to lose a base. I still have two more uh, where that came from. I'm going to take up that tank as well. And now we're going to go in with four added armor, 40 zealots. Look at this. These marines are not going to do any damage. <laughs> Negative damage. Negative damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the two base alone didn't work. <laughs> what is this guy's MMR? 6k, there we go. 30 points in the pocket. Insta surge again. God, this feels so good. I freaking love this so much. Oh, I like the way this build flowed as well. That pam, pam, pam. You know, it's kind of out of my little head. Man, it looked like I went swimming for three days straight. Look at this. This is, this is the hair of someone that swam yesterday and then didn't shower. This was the chlorine in the water. I swear, I didn't swim yesterday. I also didn't shower, though, so we did get half of that correct, but... <laughs> oh, what a build. I'm super happy with this already. I, this episode can end right now. You know, a, a meteorite hits my computer, and I would still... Well, I would not be happy with that. I don't think I saved the files in that case. Oh, got the same guy again. So now he's had some uh, time to think. Uh, or make a post on the, the battle net forums. Yeah, Protoss, get away with a third and hold my well thought out push. Uh, I think they're, 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 he's, he's going to expect that I'll do the exact same thing. So what do we do then? We do the exact same thing. Because we kind of want, you know, did, we could send him into orbit right now. You know, with the, the fuel that we will give him if he loses this game. Like, that could get him into orbit. And it, this is no, no no CO2 emissions at all. You know, this is good for the planet, even. Like, it, he'll take the rage away from around him. You know, it's like it's like a tree does with CO2. And this guy does it with, like, the rage energy. He's like, Pow! He shoots him straight into space. That's what that's going to do. Um, I kind of don't want to scout again. Although, he might have remembered that I didn't scout last time and just proxy me. If he does some stupid weird proxy, that would actually piss me off. That's kind of like a, a cheap shortcut, you know? A cheap way out. It's like, ah, he didn't really deal with the build or he didn't critically engage with my with my ideas on the on the marketplace of ideas. Which StarCraft 2 is, of course. Um, instead, you just <clears throat> you took a shortcut, you know? You went, you went for the form. It's not okay. Uh, it's not okay. The char character defamation. That's what he's going for. That's that's what that's what proxy rexers really do. You know, they they can't handle a you know a controversial idea, then they immediately go for your character with a two rex. It's like, oh, this is such a broken build. Let me two rex him next time. It's like, no, this is like this is just a small part. Like, it's not fair. It's like in debate club, calling someone else ugly. You know, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. That should not give you points. I'm thinking of you. My Dutch teacher. I remember you smiling when I got called out. 
I had the best point. I prepared well for my debate. I actually kind of enjoyed debating in high school as well. He didn't have debate club or anything. I also wouldn't have joined that if he would have had debate club. But the debating that we did in Dutch class, relatively high tier. It's a good skill to have as well. Being capable of seeing when people have like these, uh, what do you call them, the fallacies? Yeah, that was great. So, ah, that's a fallacy. Yeah, I don't care. You can go suck it. All right, sorry. I'll not bring it up again. I could also do the same type of opener, by the way, with a really fast Stargate. Oh, what are you doing? I forgot that I didn't want to scout. This is, this is literally the story of my life. I'm just... I, I start thinking of something. The other day, I was playing uh, Customs with Max Packs. And I was thinking what it would be like to have a... Uh, to have a... Basically a home story cup on the Bahamas or something. It's like, ah, oh, who would you invite and how sick would that be? Uh, and then two and a half minutes in, I realized I'd lost the game already. I don't think Max Packs wants to play with me anymore. <laughs> it's not, not, not a great practice partner. <laughs> <laughs> an actual idiot um <clears throat> he also didn't scout though my opponent here did, did we notice that yeah we did notice that i just gotta start my freaking blink yeah come on buddy ah who's a loser now i still think it's going to be me actually maybe i can fight this maybe i can't though eh, doesn't look great can i oh kevin 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 where are you at Oh, I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find him. Look at this. I, I, I prepared for this exact scenario. Poof. That was pretty sick. Uh, do we even want that, that sentry? I feel like the sentry is just adding fuel to the flames. Fire to the flames. Fuel to the fire. Fire to the flames. In the fire and the flames you carry on. Fire to fuel to the fire. I, you add fuel to the fire. Now I forgot to add some uh, other things that also should add fuel to the fire. Maybe I should just rush out a quicker forge because mainly I, uh, for no real reason whatsoever, I forgot my second gateway because I was busy trying to catch something. Once again, I was thinking about a home story cup in the Bahamas. I still think it's a good plan. Gonna have to talk with Dennis about this next time I see him. I don't even need to crowdfund it. I mean, we can just add in a holiday as well. Everyone just flies there. I guess the problem is getting the production stuff there. That's always the problem. It's always the pro the problem is always with the production. I guess we could just get a couple, rent a couple of PCs, and we should be fine. I don't know. What's it? What is this? Okay, that this is a well thought out build. This I appreciate. Okay. What is this one base? What is this? What in the world actually is this? Like, actually, what in the world is this? Was this one base or was this two base? Did he just come up with this on the spot? Oh, this was one base. See, he didn't critically engage with my idea. He called me ugly, four eyes, and then this is not okay. I, I do not approve of this type of behavior because this could be easily uh, fixed by just scouting in the early game. Now, I'm not going to do that because I'm not a loser. But this is, this is such a, a lazy way of playing, honestly. Yeah, I want to get this dude again. I'm going to take his points with the same build order without scouting. Watch me. I'm punishing him for not engaging with my ideas. All right, my friends. I've, I've tried my absolute best to try and get a, a non-Protoss player again for a, uh, for a third time in a row after the two Terran games. I've played six games in a row. All versus TOS players, but this series doesn't work so well against in, in the PvP matchup because um, most of the time you're just going to be pretty much stuck either playing one gate expand and you'll get all in, or you'll end up playing a Nexus first and you'll end up getting all in. Uh, but I've, I've had enough. You know, I gotta do other things in my life as well. I can't be the greediest man forever. So um, I'm just gonna be going to get a PvP here. I think this is a 6k Protoss player. We're gonna try our absolute best to hopefully play something that is greedy hopefully it's going to be allowed to play something greedy as well um but i i have my sincere doubts let's see what he's opening up with so far i haven't been scouted which is nice i'm i'm fairly happy with that oh here we go now we get scouted perhaps if i chase his worker around for a bit that sometimes does give some nice results uh, well actually i'm just gonna get the low ground uh, seven escort something that i could do here is i could just full wall so that he can't leave so I'll just build like a uh, one of these over here and then go for a pile in this location. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you can do is watch. <laughs> yeah, he sends a probe. 
He's like, well, yeah, I want to proxy something. This doesn't look fair. <laughs> this doesn't look like fun to me at all, my friend. <laughs> Please stop doing that. I'm just going to finish it, mate. Am I? No, I'm not. Poof, another one. <laughs> 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 nice try, my friend. <laughs> Absolutely nice try. Now he can proxy at all. It's impossible for him to proxy. I see that he opened up with a stalker here. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Um, the only thing that I'm maybe slightly afraid of is something like a, a, a four gate from one base. But I'm not even really sure if I'm afraid of that or if that's something that... Like, do I actually care? No, I don't actually think I give a crap. Now that I think about it. No, I... I've officially decided I don't give a crap. Just gonna get a robotics facility here. And we're gonna follow us up with the greediest possible... Ooh. The greediest possible uh, immortal. And this is the beauty of playing greedy. Is that your all-ins hit so much harder as well. Uh, and I freaking love that type of stuff. I, I kind of want to go in that direction a bit more as well. Just really greedy opener. Then follow it up with some crazy all-ins. So that's what we're gonna try here. Just gonna go for... Ooh, we could pull some out of gas as well for even more minerals. Then we start uh, chronoing this bad boy out. Do I want an, uh, a sentry? I think eventually I might want sentries, but not quite yet. Sentries are pretty lame after all. It's possible that he opened up with a stargate behind this. Now, someone that uh, that would definitely care about it would build a blind battery in the main, but I don't actually think I care so much. And instead of building a battery, I can also just add more gateways. Um, I'm lacking some cash, so I'm going to build one sentry. I'm going to need it later on anyway. Uh, when I force field him inside of his own natural. Let's check what he's doing. He's going to be so far behind in, in absolutely everything. I freaking love this type of stuff. Oh, someone plugged the internet. Oh, no. It's his internet cable. Very unfortunate. This doesn't work, though. You know, in some games, if you disconnect it, then you didn't lose MMR. But not in StarCraft 2, my friend. I still get your MMR. I already got all the money on the map. And now I'm here to get the MMR. What is that? That looks relatively scary. Um... Do we still want to just attack into it? I'm just going to be out on the map. Yeah. I can suck it. Maybe he's going for like a blink all in or something. Does he really think I'm going to follow this type of build up? With a freaking... Uh... With <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was this? Oh, he's just dead. Oh, I just expand to it. This is a one base all in. I am two base saturated. I was like, I could expand to a third as well if I truly want to. Just don't think it's quite necessary. Oh. oh, doesn't have a lot of units out, doesn't he? No prick. Oh, I think I have one more behind. I mean, I have my, 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 my battery here that could potentially turn into a super battery. I'm legitimately zero worried about this. I have the same amount of gateways as my opponent. Now I have more gateways than my opponent. And at the same time, I also have a row of producing immortals. I have a battery out here on top of that. Like, I'm so far ahead at this point. I just... Don't really see a way for me to lose this. Oh, probably should have micro that a little bit better at least. Oh! <laughs> see, he's, he's looking for something here. I don't think he's quite gonna find it on uh, super battery and regular battery would have just been too good. Up, oh, GG! The one base all in does not beat me for a second time in a row. All right. That's actually going to be it for me today as well. I've spent way too long looking for a non-Protoss opponent. It's, it's ate my entire day. I mean, ladder for two and a half hours. All I got was freaking PvPs. Can't believe it either. All right. I do appreciate all of you watching. Sorry for the video being a bit late, but you now understand why. Um, <laughs> I'll see all of you tomorrow with perhaps something Stormgate related. That's why I'm wearing my Frost Giant shirt as well. Very cool. All right. I'll see you all then. Ciao, ciao.